What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach and I'm an owner and operator of an HVAC company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now today I've got a rooftop unit that's got a leaking condenser coil. Let's do some work. All right, so I had to make a little quick stop and pick up some materials for a different job. Now I can head on over, get up on this roof and get started. All right, so I came here the other day and found circuit number two completely out of gas. Once I pressure tested to find the leak, we got a leak right down here in the condenser coil. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is remove this whole corner piece, cut the metal out, and basically just fix that connection, rebraze that, pressurize the whole system, make sure we don't have any other leaks and go from there. All right, now that I've got this corner panel out, I can kind of see a little bit of what's going on. So it's this piping going to that very bottom left corner there. So what I'm gonna have to do, it's probably gonna be a little tricky, but I'm gonna have to cut probably above both of these tubes all the way across and just remove it completely out of the way. That way I can get in there and braze it because it's, it's on, this, uh, on this side of the pipe, but on the opposite side of the metal there. So I'm going to have to remove all that to be able to fix it. All right, so after I tried to cut the metal out of the way, it was just too tight. I couldn't get in there and I didn't want to disturb the other circuit on this system because it's still full of refrigerant. So what I decided to do is I went ahead and just pulled the corner of this coil out from the base a little bit where I could get up underneath there and push the fins out of the way and then I could see the little crack. So that's what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and get some nitrogen and get this brazed up. So what I did, I like to sand the copper before I cut it and then also cut the dryers out instead of actually using the torch to remove them. And I got me a little piece of half inch copper here to extend, made sure I deburred both ends. And, uh, and then this basically will just slide over this 3 8 copper like so. And now I got a nice clean install with this dryer.
So that job went well. It was actually quite a bit easier than I expected to make that repair. I didn't have to worry about cutting out any of that metal bracketing. So I was able to just to pull that coil out and sand it a little bit, braze it right up, no big deal. So very happy with how that went. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you on the next one.